welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zanetta C. And I'm back with the most talked about product of the month of September. And yes, you got it because you read the title. Fenty Beauty by Bad Girl Riri, our girl Rihanna. Rihanna! Girl! As y'all can see, I am glowing, I am airbrushed, I am a woman. I I feel beautiful. Like I look beautiful. Rihanna did it for the culture. Like she did it for the kids. Like I'm I can't even sugarcoat this. If y'all really go out and purchase these products. Y'all are going to see how amazing, like, wow. I'm just looking at myself like, wow. Y'all, I've been talking throughout this whole video. I have not got a smile line yet. I have not. Smile lines kill me, bro. I have not. Uh, I have not got a smile line yet. Riri! I was excited about this collection before it even launched, before it even dropped. Rihanna had been talking about this foundation since last year. She um, collabed with the company um, Kendo. Kendo is a company that works with the brands that you see within Sephora. And they launch small brands. And actually, Rihanna is an investor in Kendo. Just to get back to the products, like, everything is amazing, guys. Like, literally... I used a good majority of the product line. I used the Pro Filter Primer, the foundations, the Invisimat, the Kilowatt Highlighters, the Match Trio Stick, the Beauty Sponge that she has, and the Lip Gloss. Guys, I am just like so happy that these products are actually working and that Rihanna, she literally launched 40 shades. Like, she didn't just do it for your girls. She really did it for people, um, women of lighter complexions. Like, she has albino colors to the darkest of dark you can find on this earth. This is a product line that we need to continually talk about. This is not something that we just talk about for the moment and then it goes away. No. Rihanna has made a name for herself in this beauty industry now. Rihanna is already an icon with the music and fashion. Now she has transitioned to beauty and she did the damn thing. And I am so happy um, with the outcome of this product. The highlight is beautiful. Everything is just beautiful. I am so excited to the point like I literally want to cry. I'm getting emotional because like black girls are winning. And we are doing the damn thing. And Rihanna made a name for herself in this beauty industry. And I am a lover of makeup. That's why I'm so passionate about this collection. And it's really bomb. Like, it's not something that is just hyped up because Rihanna is the owner behind this. Like, no. When you get these products and you use them for yourself, you're really going to fall in love. Like, I fell in love. And everyone else has fallen in love with them. Just hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I hope you guys um, have already purchased your Fenty products. Um, hopefully if you already did and you didn't know how to use them, I helped you out a little bit. I just hope you guys enjoy. Okay? <laughs> okay. So I know everybody in a mama, like everybody in a mama has done a Fenty Beauty review and I'm like literally the last on the bandwagon to do so. But you know, I live in Florida and Hurricane Irma came and swept through. So we had some delays, but we back and we here and we finna do it. <laughs> okay? I literally... Got so much Fenty Beauty stuff. Um, I didn't get the full collection, but I did get a lot. So, first of all, the foundation. Um, it's a matte foundation. And my skin, personally, is really super, super dry. Okay? So, I've already done my skin prep. And I will be having an updated skincare routine. Um... In a next some next video, so I'm not really going to get into that. What I am going to apply on camera with you guys is my Melanie Mills Hollywood Gleam um, Body Butter in the shade Rose Gold. I have been using this a lot lately um, before I apply my makeup. It's just been giving me that glow that I need, like that beautiful glow. And so I'll put it on the highest points of my face and then honestly just rub it all in. Um, and so yeah, I'm going to look like... A light bulb. Alright guys, so the first product that I'm going to start off with is a Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I never use primers, guys. Like, my skin prep is always like an oil, a moisturizer, but I feel like if 
a company is launching a foundation and you should just try the primer because your foundation may work better with the primer and so that's what I'm gonna do so you know whenever you get a new product it's hard to so I'm gonna take three squirts I probably don't even need that but I'm gonna take it um, and the pro filter primer is supposed to like minimize any signs of pores so I'm gonna put it mostly on my nose it has this like um nude pinky tint to it and so I'm gonna just put that all throughout my face. It feels really good on the skin. It feels like a moisturizer. It feels really nice. So I do feel like if you do have that dry skin, this will this will be really good. It feels very moisturizing. It doesn't really feel tacky or sticky. Like you know how primers get really tacky and sticky. This doesn't feel like that. It feels it feels really moisturizing, honestly. So now we're gonna get into these foundations, honey, because. The packaging, guys, on everything is just beautiful. It's super clean, super beautiful. Now, what I will say, though, this, the foundation, it has, like, this soft filter, like, um, cast over the bottle. The foundation is actually darker than what it appears on the outside. So, you actually want to do a swatch test. I recommend you guys going into Sephora. Do not be like me and do this online. I always apply my foundation with the Crown C504 brush. I really like this brush. Um, it's like a kabuki. It has a little slant to it. Um, yeah, it's from Crown Brush. It's really bomb. Really super amazing. And then I always go back over with a beauty blender. Okay? And so I did pick up her precision sponge. It looks like this. To me, it resembles the Real Technique sponge with the flat edge and then the round. The only thing it has like this flat top, the Real Techniques has a point. But I think this would be really good for like nose contouring. So it feels really soft like a beauty. When you take it out of the package, it's super tiny. And then once you wet it, it does expand. Always wet your beauty blender, guys. It'll change your whole life. Oh, and all the foundations say to shake well. This is 360. This is 390. This is 400 and then this is 420 so 390 400 and 420 really do look the same so this is the swatches on the side of my face um what I'm gonna do personally I feel like I got 390 I feel like I could have gotten away with 370 or 380 and so if they have it in stores I'm gonna go back and get that but like right now, I guess it's okay. <laughs> right now I'm just going to mix um, 360 and 390. I'm just going to wipe that off. Okay, I hope this works. <laughs> if it's a little darker, it's fine. It almost dries instantly. Make sure you put it always on your ears and down your neck a little bit. Wow. Um, a lot of people were saying that this foundation oxidizes. Um, I follow the makeup artist Priscilla Ono, who is one of the makeup artists um, behind the Fenty Beauty collection. And she says the foundation does not oxidize. Um, it just dries down. And it's very true because when foundations oxidize, they legit turn like three shades darker or three shades lighter. Like really, either really red or green. Um, that's what happens when foundations oxidize. Like this legit looks so good on my skin. So think of it like paint. Like when you're painting, um, even just painting a wall, when you first put up that wet coat, it's really, um, it's a different color than when it dries. Um, and that's not oxidation. Like oxidizing is when um, a color, I guess it like heats up with your body a little bit. I shouldn't say I guess. That's what happens. And so it'll change like literally three shades darker. Like, you know what foundation oxidizes? Mac Studio Fix. What the? F so um, I'm putting it under my eyes a little bit. Y'all, this looks really good. It honestly uh, reminds me of NARS All Day Luminous. Like, 
I'm still getting that glow. I don't know if it's because of my skin prep, but um, it doesn't feel, and I'm just applying over and over. And um, even when I touch my face, I don't get like a print or anything. This looks really good, y'all. How does it look? I don't want my my neck to be different than my body. This matches me bump. So I know like if I go back and get like 380 or 370, and FYI, I like for my foundation shade to be a bit darker um i don't like for it to look like my actual skin color i don't know because i just feel like i highlight so much that when i do get it to be my actual skin color i just look really i look really light really good so now i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender whenever i apply my foundation with this i always go on my beauty blender and that just smooths everything out so this feels really good on the skin um, it does dry down really mad, guys. So this foundation is not full coverage, and I don't see anything wrong with that. People always want full coverage foundations, and that's not what the everyday girl wants. Like, the everyday girl wants a little nice coverage. Just go on. Like, literally, guys, I don't look crazy. I could literally put some brows on, mascara, and walk out the house like this. Like, this looks like my skin. This just looks like coverage with skin. <laughs> I live like y'all don't understand bro I okay we're just gonna get to the end with that so but. now I'm gonna go in with the matchstick trio um in the shade tan 300 um and with this it comes with three different shades so it comes in the shade caramel as the concealer highlight truffle as the um contour and rum as the highlight so let's see um this like I live live for the packaging y'all look so it says Fenty Beauty and look ah! <laughs> it's magnetic it's so cute like this is really good if you're a girl on the go and you have to travel like y'all could just be like okay girl let's go <laughs> we're here we yep got my trio let's go <laughs> I watched about 5,000 reviews and Everyone was saying that this was not full coverage, but I do want to show you guys how much product you get. Oh, okay. You get, you get a decent amount of product, honestly, for it to be like a concealer stick. Okay. Okay. It's very, it's creamy. But it's very dry. Not dry, but it's not as hydrating as I like a concealer to be. I like the shade. Um, Honestly, like I usually go for like a little lighter of a found a concealer shade. But this is nice. Um, So I'm going to put it under my eyes. I'm going to put it here on my forehead. Um, in here. So, this part, I always pick up a little bit of my foundation and blend that out. Because I hate for that to look ashy, like, down here. But I like to have that highlighted effect. Yeah, I like the, the feel of this. Like, really, honestly, truly. And so, um, yeah, let's see how this blends out. This gets really dry fast, too. And so, you see how I was saying, like, you can take this side, like, turn it this side, and then, like, literally, it just blends out your nose part so good. Now, the only thing I don't like is, like, with a beauty blender, you get that point. So, like, this right here just fits, okay? This, it kind of doesn't. But what you can do is, like, squeeze it in a little bit and just, you know, finesse it. And that's it. And close your eyes a little bit so you can get into that socket. And then take it over your eye. And honestly, for my under eyes, I like for it to look a little bit more yellow. But I am living for this. Like, oh, girl. So now from the group, um, I'm going to go in with the contour shade shuffle. I don't really contour anymore, guys. But, hey. And so I just want to show you guys the color. Um, 
Now, so with contouring, contouring is meant to um, shape the face, slim down the face. You know, you got a little double chin action like me. Um, it's going to help remove that. Um, it just helps give you just a, like nice sharp cheekbones and slims the forehead. If you got a five head, you know, I only got a five. All right, y'all. So now it's 118. Got to go. I'm going to go in. I'm still not really getting creases under my under eye. Yada. Yada. I am living, girl. Like, I'm sorry, but I am excited. So a lot of people are contouring here. Um, and you shouldn't because this is going to, like, just cut off everything if you really want to take away that double chin this is what you do you're going to go down so if you literally take your foundation stick down just a little bit like right here you can go back over that with your foundation but like that's how you're going to cut off that chin okay let's blend that out really quick always blend into your hairline oh that blends out beautifully like it just blends like okay Wow, it literally just disappears as soon as you, as soon as you touch it. Okay, it's a sorcery. Never take your contour down. Always take your contour up. Contour is going to help lift the cheeks, okay? You never want to take it down. It's going to give you, like, a really sad face. You're going to look really sad. With my nose contour, I'm going to take this flat edge of the brush. And see what that be about. Blend that all in. Wow, guys, that's it's really nice. It's really nice. All right, guys, so I'm back. Put the brows on, lashes, and a little bit of um um eyeliner. I didn't really want to film this look because I just want to focus on Fenty Beauty. Like I said, I will be doing a video um either tonight or tomorrow just doing a regular routine using Fenty Beauty products and kind of just starting to incorporate it into my everyday routine because this it looks y'all it looks so good. All right so um we're gonna go back to the match trio sticks is 140. I have 20 minutes to do this to finish this whole look up um, so we already did the contour and the cream again I set my highlighter with the Bobbi Brown translucent powder and I set my um, contour with the black radiance true complexion contour palette in the shade medium to dark okay so now we're gonna take the shade rum this is supposed to be a highlight super pretty I'm gonna do a swatch right here that looks really good y'all and I really like these type of colors for highlight. I'm going to take the back of my beauty blender. This is how like I apply my highlights, my uh, cream highlights. Take it on here and literally um, dab it on. So you'll probably get more of a color payoff. Oh yes, you'll probably get more of a color payoff if you put it on here. Yeah, you get a little bit more, but I don't like that. I like when it looks really natural. Um, and a really good thing about this, they're very, they're creamy, but they're very drying. So, you can put it over your powder, like, literally. Um, and I kind of like to take it here in this area, so when you turn your face, you don't get that stripe. So, I literally put it on the high um, points of my cheek, but then take it a little bit under my eye, just right here. So that, like I said, when you turn your face, you won't get that streak. Oh, y'all. Now, I do have the shade Trippin' as well. And I'm going to put that on just to see how it looks. They're both very pinky, but rum is darker than that. So I'm going to put that on top. No, I'm going to put that on top of it and put it in my inner tear ducts. Ooh. Oh, yo, and this is me applying it. Wow, it has that like golden in it, bitch. Okay, so I already set with my Bobbi Brown translucent powder, but they, um, Rihanna did come out with the Fenty Beauty, um, Invisimac. Um, and the packaging is beautiful, you can't really pick it up, but it has like, um, these purple unicorn looking flex it's very pretty it does come with a little thing a little um pad it's really cute 
this is for the girl who throughout the day gets really oily and needs to pat down now for me that doesn't um happen because my skin is very dry but i'm gonna see if it just lightens up my eyes just a little bit okay? and i'm just gonna go in with my crown brush c522 to that okay you get a lot of fallout so you're just gonna wipe that off It literally just looks so airbrushed. Wow. Wow. I, this will be really bomb for the girl who gets oily throughout the day. I could just tell like any shine. The, sh the little shine that I had right there, it calmed that down. The powder just looks really nice and airbrushed. Y'all, I am living for this highlight stuff. Looks really cute. I mean, it's really nice. Um, It doesn't really benefit me, but for the girl who gets really oily, I think you will really love it. I'm going to go in now with um, the Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. So, again, packaging, super beautiful. All the white packaging has that, like, silver flex to it. Um, the color is beautiful. So this is Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. This is the highlight that's going to be really beautiful on um, deeper skin tones, even my skin tone. She does have, I believe, like three other ones. Um, Hustler Baby and some other. It's like two more treat, two more doubles, and then she has the Trophy Wife, and then she has a really light one. Um, and so I just picked up Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule and Trophy Wife. So I'm going to use this as a blush. Start here. Oh, nice pigment, guys. Oh, yes. It gives you that nice shine that you like need, like right here. What is this? I like to always put my highlight first before my blush. It just blends in better like that. That looks really beautiful. And so I'm going to take a little bit of this side. It's really more highlighted. And just put it a little bit back here. It's really pretty. I can't really tell because I'm trying to be safe with it. I don't want to do too much. That is beautiful. And see, you see how my blush and my highlight just blends together. You don't see where one starts, where one stops. They just all blend perfectly together. So I really, really, girl, I like that. So last but not least with the highlighters is the infamous Trophy Wife. This right here is beautiful. Like, have you ever seen a highlighter like this? No. Nah. I'm going to swatch it. Look at that. Trophy Wife is a really yellow gold pigment, okay? Um, and personally, on my face, I don't like yellow gone. And it, it reads a little green as well. And it's very glittery. Alright? I'm going to be taking my... Um, this is my go-to. This is my baby. This was from, I think, Shani Cosmetics. This is just a fan brush. I'm going to take this here and apply it on my... Wow! And then you put some right here, baby. This is good when you're wearing, like, um, shirts like me that are cropped. I mean, like a bandeau top or, like, the off-the-shoulders. What? Put some a little bit on your ears. I mean, these are just tricks that I do when I'm on, like, photo shoots. And I've started to incorporate them into my everyday routine. Wow. Rihanna, girl, you, you know something. Like, you, you, you know what to do. So, there it is. That is Trophy Wife, and I'm sure it'll be beautiful on some skin tones. Um, Maybe in the next tutorial, I'll try it on my face. I want to try it as an eyeshadow. I've been seeing a lot of people try it as an eyeshadow. I seen the, the owner of the Virgin Hair Fantasy put it on her lips, and it was really beautiful. I was like, okay, girl. Get creative today this is how i'm gonna wear my trophy wife um and yes i love it okay ladies so last but certainly not least rihanna did come out with a lip product she only came out with one um and it is the gloss bomb universal lip and it's a lip gloss 
I love lip glosses. The packaging is super cute. Um, and in the bottle, it reads like a really like um, nice um, pinky peach shade. Really pretty. Oh, I love the applicator. I love that applicator. And so it's just a really nice gloss. Oh, girl, it smells so good. Oh. Oh, it smells like... It smells like the pink Starburst. Oh. I'm going to line my lips with MAC Bittersweet. And then I will um, apply the lip product. Oh, it feels really good. It's not like sticky or anything. I love the applicator. You're able to get so much product out. Oh, this feels really good. Wow, it's not sticky or anything. It's just, it's perfect. Wow, y'all. All right, guys, that wraps up the end of this tutorial. Thank you so very much for tuning in. So I know everybody has already done the review, and I'm the last on the bandwagon. But it's the ending of September, and I wanted to talk about the most raved product of the month. And plus, things are finally being restocked, so you're, you will be able to go and grab these products now. So I hope you all enjoy. Go grab you some Fenty Beauty. All the products are popping. You seen it. I love you. Till next time. It's Zanetta C. Bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, make sure you hit that like button and press subscribe so that you can see more of me, your favorite, Zanetta C. Love you. <laughs>